Hi, welcome to Bicycling's coverage of the 2012 Amgen Tour of California. I'm here with Heinrich Hausler from Garmin Barracuda. Uh, Heinrich, you guys came here with a pretty strong GC team, but it sounds like you have a little bit of freedom to go for some stage wins here in the early days if you want. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the stages, they're not pure sprinter stages. They're a lot, you know, they're pretty hard. And um, But our main goal is here with um, Andrew and um, Tom, so, you know, it's GC. But stages like this where it could be like 40, 50 going man sprint, then, you know, I'm going to get my chance and I'm going to go for it too. Right. Uh, obviously, riding for stage wins in a situation like this where you don't have a, the, the luxury of a team to count on to really help you with lead outs and that kind of thing, uh, tell me a little bit about how that changes things for you tactically trying to stay up there. Yeah, no, not necessarily. It doesn't really change anything. I mean, the sprints that I do, I'm not like I'm not like Cav or like Kittle like, who need a train. I like the stages like today where it's a little bit hard during the race where they get rid of the top sprinters and um, so that's why it's, it's not really such a big issue and I mean, it actually suits me better because I just like to weave my, my way around and just get to the front and go for it. So, you think you'll stay with the pack most of the time or are you even thinking maybe some of these stages look like they might be good for you to get in a breakaway and try and win out of that? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, if it does come down to a sprint, I mean, I will be there. I mean, I've been uh, in Boulder for the last four weeks almost doing a lot of training, so I'm climbing pretty good. But like I said before, our main goal is uh, with the two GC riders here. And uh, if it comes down to sprint, then I'm going to have a go. But if it doesn't, then it's all for the GC boys. Okay, great. Thanks, Heinrich. Cheers.